My wife Rebecca and I were born again October 8, 2006 at Victory Baptist Church in Hanover, Pennsylvania. We had no idea what God had in store for us. Almost immediately, we got a burden to take the good news of the gospel and the miracle of salvation back home to Rebecca's native Trinidad. We asked our pastor, Jason Myers, if he'd be willing to take a trip back home with us. We've been making annual short-term mission trips ever since. Over the years, it became clear that Victory needed someone in country on a full-time basis. God has called me and my wife to lead that mission. Trinidad and Tobago is an island nation off the northeastern coast of Venezuela. The country is the most industrialized and one of the most prosperous in the Caribbean. Trinidad is slightly smaller than the state of Delaware and has a population of 1.2 million souls. Trinidad and Tobago gained their independence from Great Britain in 1962 and officially became a republic in 1976. The people of Trinidad pride themselves on being cosmopolitan. It's a nation where people of all races and religions live and work in harmony. You'll find ethnic and cultural roots stretching back to India, Africa, China, Europe, and the Middle East. This blending of ideas, beliefs, and traditions is also reflected in the churches. Nearly one quarter of the population is Roman Catholic. Of the 7% who are Baptists, very few can be considered fundamental. In fact, there are no independent fundamental Baptist churches in Southern Trinidad. God has opened the door for Victory Baptist Church to plant local New Testament churches in Southern Trinidad. That and establishing a Bible Institute represent the island's greatest spiritual needs. Our goal is to plant five local churches over the next 20 years, to grow them and to then turn each established church over to a pastor who is rooted in sound Bible doctrine. We also desire to start a Bible Institute, which is essential to establishing a firm foundation of truth among future pastors. The people of Trinidad are open, kind, welcoming, and sincere in their faith. However, they have strayed from the truth and have been spoiled through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. church as we know it is losing its fire and some are discouraged from bearing the load but we must determine to keep pressing on all the just one more soul were to walk down the aisle it would be worth every struggle it would be worth every mile. A lifetime of labor is still worth it all. If it rescues just one more soul. So preachers keep preaching and singers go sing. And laymen keep sharing that Jesus is King. The angels have gathered, they're surrounding the throne, and they'll start rejoicing for just one more soul. All oh, that just one more soul were to walk down the aisle, it would be worth every struggle, 
It would be worth it. It would be worth every mile. A lifetime of labor is still worth it all. If it rescues just one more soul. A lifetime of labor is still worth it all. If it rescues just one more soul. Hello, my name is Jason Myers. I'm the pastor of Victor Baptist Church in Hanover, Pennsylvania. We're the sending church for Bill and Rebecca Ribbons, your missionaries to the island of Trinidad. I've been privileged to be Bill and Rebecca's pastor since 2006 when they came to trust Christ as their personal savior. Since that time, I've watched their faith grow and their walk with Christ mature. With this growth has come a burden for the people of Trinidad. Not long after their salvation, I was approached by this dear family about taking a short-term mission trip to preach the gospel in St. Mary's Village in the southern region of Trinidad where Rebecca grew up. Since 2006, many annual mission trips have come and gone, but now God has increased our burden to something more permanent. The church family of Victory Baptist Church and the Ribbons family both desire to see a local church started in the southern part of Trinidad, as well as a Bible institute where men can train for the ministry of the gospel of Christ. Sound doctrine is a great need on this island, and we believe God has opened this door for us and now for you. Thank you, pastor and church family, for allowing us to present our burden for the people of Trinidad. I hope you will prayerfully consider Bill and Rebecca Ribbons as your missionaries to the island of Trinidad. Our hope and our prayer is that you will join with us in this church planning, Bible teaching, soul winning mission to Trinidad.